Welcome to day 94 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're going to have a look at how to connect member stack to Webflow and have some content that is gated to only members that are logged in. So let's see how that is done. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. Let's go. Okay, so what we're going to do today is connect member stack to Webflow. We basically want a login button. So let's create a login button. I want this to say log in and I want this button to redirect me when upon logging in to redirect me to my dashboard, which is this page right here, which is the make a request. And I want this to show my name. So let's see how that is done. Uh, first, we will need to connect member stack to Webflow. Uh, first, of course, you'll need to make a member stack account and then log in to your member stack account. We're going to use test mode for this video and then we're going to set it up. First, we go to setup. Now this is a new account, so we're going to start from scratch. We're going to copy this code right here. We're going to go to our project settings or if you have the FinSuite uh, extension, you can just go to custom code. You can add it right here in the header. And then you can publish. So we're going to publish on the testing domain. Let's see how this will go. So we'll publish on the testing domain. We can copy the URL of our project and then go to member stack just to test if this code is installed. Now, in this case, it says it's installed. So this is done. Uh, next, we'll add a sign up form. Now, if you can add a sign up form, there are many templates that you can use by member stack. But in our case, we're going to use a model. And also, I don't want my users to sign up. I'll sign them up myself. They can just log in. Uh, next, we'll need to add a plan. So first, let's check this. We'll need to add a plan. So let's create a plan. Uh, this will be a free plan. It will be called level subscription. And this is, of course, just for the sake of this video, just to test things out. So this is my level flow plan. Uh, I'm going to add gated content. So gated content is the dashboard. So level dashboard. And that will be so let's go to that page. And uh, let's copy the URL. Well, it's the, this URL. Let's go to the member stack and we'll add this URL here. So we'll not we'd not need to add the entire thing. We'll just add the what comes after the main the main domain. So in case in, in this case, it's this and uh, we can save. So this is the gated content. I'll turn it on. So this is upon being a member of the level flow subscription, you can access this page. And let's also play with the redirect. So on login, when I log in, I go to this page as well. So let's add that here. We'll save. So this is done. Now let's add our first member. So let's add a member that will be myself. So add a random password and add that member to the plan. So now there's a member in that plan. So let's go back to our dashboard, uh, our Webflow page. So let's refresh here. Let's publish first. Did, did we publish? I'm not sure. Let's publish and test this out and see if it works. So we publish, we refresh. We're going to click log in. OK, we forgot the step. Uh, we'll need to configure the login button, of course. Now we can, we can use the member stack Webflow app. So we'll go to the, to the Webflow app. And since our project is connected, we can uh, just set up the attributes. So we'll need this button to open the login module. So we select the button, we go to models, and then we go to login. And that's basically going to log me in. And let's publish. Let's test that out and see how that works. So we go to our site, we click login, and this opens up. Now I can log in here. And then when I log in, I go to this page. Now I need to adjust some stuff on this page. For example, the name, I want it to show my name. And I want to be able to log out because now the logout button is doing something else. So let's go to the dashboard. Uh, this will just remove the link from it. And we will add an attribute as well through the member stack Webflow app. 
this attribute will be um, actions log out and this will basically log out and you see whenever you you click on the on the webflow app it adds the attribute here and the custom attribute so it will be log out i will need this to be named so i close the app let's open it again this i want this to be member da data and the field id name uh, let's see if we created that here so here we can create a custom field which is name i think i added this before and then we add a value to it in this case it's cr so now i have a custom field i can add more of course if you, if you want to customize more that's that's uh, up to you now let's publish and test this out so here you can see i have my name displayed and then if i click log out I am logged out and back to this page. I can log in again. Select the email, password, log in, I'm back here. And that's basically how you connect member stack to Webflow. Now you can track some of the events here in the event log. Uh, there are other things, of course, that you can do. There's more customization and we'll be doing that over the next few days because I want to customize more of this dashboard. But this is how you basically connect the basics of it and that's the video for today thank you for watching the video i hope i taught you something today make sure to subscribe give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of fifra journey see you tomorrow